Okay. So how did you check the water level? He, he wants me to translate. Do you want me to? Yeah. Yeah, in, in a, like, uh, before that, like, uh, he used to go manually to the uh, source, uh, and they, they, have, they do the calculation for what, uh, how, how many, in a minute, it does give a discharge. And do the, with that calculation, they used to check. And the second thing is they have to manually climb up all the time and check if there's a water in the tank or not. And also, he does the same for the big tank. How often do you check? How often do you check? Twice a day, in the morning and the evening. And uh, usually it depends, like the, the weather is a bit hot here. So people are losing uh, water, and this, this, this serves the whole institution is served by this water. So he has to keep in touch with, uh, like uh, the tanks, he has to keep checking that whether the levels are below the, so that they can he can start up a uh, source and generator, everything he has to check. I mean, I to Okay, sometimes it happens like uh, the, 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 the main pump itself gets sometimes it's uh, damaged or something like uh, there's uh, something, some problem with the pump, it gives a very less water it's supposed to. So the, during that time, he has to check it out, check it out that uh, the, the amount of water which is filling has to be the same every day, or the, sometimes it's less. So then he has to go down and fix the pump, and uh, this is what they do usually, every day. And what happens if the water is Okay. So usually uh, they, they have to keep keep on checking the water levels and if it's low it's not good because many of the people are using it and uh, he has two sources of water. One, they are uh, drill, uh, like pumping it out from a well which they bought it in a few years ago and there's another source which is coming from a river, but it's like uh, around uh, 9 miles away from here, 12 kilometers from here, and it's coming through a pipeline, which they, they need it down, and uh, that, that is also a source which directly goes to the boat one, or the tank and everything. Mm. And uh, due to the experience and calculation, they have figured it out that uh, the water which is coming from the far away, it takes 52 hours to fill that tank. They, they, this they know the calculation because this is uh, what they have been uh, recording until now. So the other one is uh, not really a natural. So they have to pump it out all the time. So they have uh, recorded uh, that it takes uh, like uh, two hours to fill up a, 70, a seven thousand liter of water. And if it doesn't, uh, if it doesn't fill the seven thousand uh, liter of water in two hours, then there's something a problem. There's some problem. So then they figure it out. They're going down to the stream and they check it that uh, the pump is okay. The pipeline might be broken. So anything a problem, they had to figure it out. So what's 
He thinks that, okay, suppose uh, the, he put the, the levels here, it might be something that it couldn't help to bring the water, but at least he can manually see things yeah. without going further. Like he can do a calculation, he can have a graph. Okay, suppose uh, he can have a record database or something that he can check it out in a month or two, thinking that what, what was the usage, what was the thing. So he says like it could make things easier, much easier. So he actually, he, he was worried that he can go to Delhi and check the water levels. <laughs> I said, you can go anywhere in the world and check the water level here. Yeah, that's cool actually. <laughs> so actually he's a very dedicated person, a uh, monk actually. He's a monk but he's very dedicated with work, I know that personally. And moreover he's taking care of all the logistics here. He's the, uh, uh, the other day I saw him fixing the generator room. So he's taking care of all estates all the, all the time. So he went, when he traveled for official work in Delhi, students doesn't know that he's in Delhi. So they used to call him, there's no water, come. <laughs> <laughs> so he says, he can check now easily the Delhi, calls, whether there's a problem for the source or the pipeline somewhere here. So you can tell that, okay, there's a problem here. Yeah. And what would you like to do next? Yeah. 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 <laughs> He's not sure. <laughs> he has to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. What kind of a sense is like you bring next to <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, I hope. I think first let's, uh, Actually, let's check know, this one. Like, oh. like, we were really excited about the weather. weather, uh, set, weather yeah, yeah. We, can, we can do that yeah, too. Yeah, later we can do that. But uh, we were concerned that we, can, we were thinking that like, one note here. Because this is an inter inter interesting place. Mm. Because uh, apart from Dharamsala, the weather here is much warmer. Even in the winters, mm. it's like that. It's hot here. Well, next time we can do we can do like a weather sensor, maybe a TCV, and then here, and then somewhere else, and we can compare the different temperatures and exactly. check the small small things. <laughs>